Finally, the Christians are angry. Bring him up! Bring him up! I don't know why it's taking you so long. Good evening. Well, let's go to this breaking news now. Reports of a shocking stabbing at a Fairfield church. An Orthodox bishop was attacked with a knife during a church service last night. Police have declared a terrorist act. The attack occurred at the Assyrian Orthodox Christ the Good Shepherd Church in Wakeley with graphic video showing Bishop Mar Mari Emmanuel being stabbed. In this video, I'll be explaining what happened to Bishop Mar Mari Emmanuel that has stunned the entire world. Andrew Tate has made a reaction video to this event by congratulating Christians for being angry. It's because this whole of tolerance and sitting around turning the other cheek is making you globally mocked. You're seen as weak. I'm also going to show you the video that may have caused the attack on the bishop in the first place. Let me tell you, there is no Muhammad, there is no Buddha, there is no Krishna, there is no one, only one Jesus. The incident occurred yesterday, Monday 16th, 2024. Bishop Mamari Emmanuel was conducting a mass which he was live streaming at the time. A young man aged 15 suddenly walked up to him and began stabbing the bishop shouting Allah Akbar. The congregation screamed in horror and ran to his assistance. Praise God the knife did not open and the attacker failed to deliver lethal blows. After the attack, the bishop was taken to hospital at 7.15 p.m. and within an hour, thousands were gathered outside the church, chanting, bring him out, referring to the attacker. Bring him out! Bring him out! The recent convert to Islam, who is infamous for his misguided view on masculinity, amongst other things, has responded to the terror attack with a message to Christians. Finally, the Christians are angry. I don't know why it's taking you so long. Even as a Muslim, even as somebody who's recently reverted, it gives me genuine happiness to see the Christians finally angry about something. You have gay preachers, LGBT drag story hours at your churches. You sit around and turn the other cheek. You have no cheeks left to turn. There's nothing in this world without masculine rage. It's the bottom line of everything. There's no country without men who are prepared to get angry and defend it. There's no idea. There's no house. There's no religion without masculine rage. They bred it out of you. And for the first time in a long time, we see Christians finally angry about something. And when I see Christians mad for the first time in a long time, although I'm no longer Christian, it makes me feel happy. This piece of <laughs> deserves an eye for a <laughs> an eye. Isn't that what the Bible says? And for the first time ever, Christians are standing up. And many of Andrew Tate's fans agreed with his sentiments. Andrew Tate mistaken masculinity for violence. But Jesus didn't teach this type of masculinity. In fact, if we are to believe, which we do as Christians, that Jesus was the perfect example of a human being, then he was also the perfect man, the perfect masculine man. It's important to note that the bishop has previously made a video addressing Andrew Tate and his warped view of Christianity and what it is to be a Christian man. In light of this satanic attack on the bishop, this message is now more important to hear than ever. If you're enjoying this video, please hit subscribe and share this video with your friends. Watch how the bishop addresses Andrew Tate. And let me say this to Andrew Tate. If you think that Christians are coward, you are mistaken. Christ is the only revolutionist ever to exist. No human being ever was able to change the whole world with a word. Superpowers came with weapons and great force. They could not change nothing. Jesus, no weapon, no knife, no sword, nothing, absolutely nothing. He changed the whole world with the word. There is no one greater than Jesus Christ of Nazareth ever to exist on the face of this planet. I belong to that Jesus. I fear no one and I fear nothing. Understand? can't stand it when they talk about my Jesus like that. If the Christians are coward, Christ is the glory. And he's the warrior. So you better take that back, Mr. Andrew Tate. But there's one thing you have misunderstood. Let me tell you. And those who have, who share the same mindset like you. Jesus Christ is love. 
He came on His first coming as mercy. See, you need to understand one thing about love. Love is the most powerful thing ever to exist. And it is the most, the, the weakest thing also ever to exist at the same time. Love is the most powerful and the weakest at the same time. Why? Because when you love someone from the heart, you will do anything and everything for that someone. If that love is received as weakness, then it's the ignorance of the other party, not the one who loves. But let me tell you, when the time comes, love can be also very, very powerful. Because love moves mountains. See, you cannot change the heart of a person using force. You cannot change the mind of a person using the sword and threatening to beheading people. The only way you can change a heart of a man or a woman is when you show them and give them love, not power. Don't ever misunderstand what Jesus is all about. Don't ever. And this goes to all the Christians. To all the Christians. Eat everything. Look, the Lord took me to heaven. Yeah, I want, I want Andrew Tate to hear this. Yes, and everyone like Andrew Tate. Let me tell you this, all of you, everyone. The Lord, no one else, took me to heaven. Let me tell you, there is no Muhammad. There is no Buddha. There is no Krishna. There is no one. Only one, Jesus. Why? Because he is the only one. There is no one else but him. He is God revealed in the flesh. God revealed in the flesh. No one else. No one else. This is not judgment. This is not attack. This is not discrimination. Believe you me, I love everyone. Believe you. And if you don't want to believe, it's up to you. It doesn't matter. But I love you. Because my Jesus taught me to love everyone. Let me tell you this. You will never, ever find anyone in heaven except Jesus Christ. Buddhists, stop chasing Buddha. I can assure you, you can say Buddha was a nice man. You can put as many oranges and apple in front of him. That will get you nowhere. Let me tell you, you can follow the, your three million gods, Hindus. They'll get you nowhere. You can follow Muhammad, it'll get you nowhere. The only one that truly is who he is, is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And this has got nothing to do with Christians or anyone else. It's got to do with the truth. This is the truth. Jesus Christ is God, the creator of everyone and everything visible and invisible. That's all I saw in heaven, him. I didn't see anyone else. Why would I make up a story like this? You know what? This story could get me into trouble, if anything, really. People might not like what they hear. I'm not making it up. Mr. Andrew Tate, I'll pray for you, my dear friend, to come back to the Lord Jesus because you made a big mistake by denying your Lord. The biggest mistake ever you've made in your life. And I pray the Lord touches your heart and bring you back to the truth. For there is no other truth but Jesus Christ of Nazareth.